I had the Spirit of the Lord speak something very profound to me this morning. Uh, some of it is symbolic. Much of it has clarity to it. I encourage you right now. I'm about to go into a prophecy uh, that I, I began to hear today. I want you to, if you would, repost this, share this, because there are so many events happening right now. And we are about to cascade into many serious dominoes, like one after another, and it's going to come quickly now. And here's, here's the point, is a lot of people are prophesying things, saying things, and many of it is, is good and it's wonderful, it's clear, some of it is terrifying. And the truth of the matter is many people are correct, but they're not complete. I want to just go down a road that, that helps you. I believe we're going to land with hope today, but I see something and the Lord began to minister to me. The Lord began to minister to me strongly this morning. So typically I go into news, I go into things, but um, as I was preparing for this, I began to hear and see. So I, I really encourage you to share this right now. Somebody's going to need to hear this. I believe it's going to bring clarity. Uh, we know that information from the Holy Spirit brings peace. We know that it brings us back to the Word of God. It brings us to Jesus. And anything you hear in prophecy should drive you to Jesus. It should make you want to read your Bible more. It should make you want to know the Lord God Almighty. So I'm going to present a number of things to you today because it started to come to me in rapid fire. So I'm going to share this with you if you would. Also, I want to say, please, if you are interested in in any way uh, in, in uh, hearing more about what this ministry is doing, our broadcast, I, I just want to say thank you to our partners so much for helping us do this. I'm about to get into some very serious prophetic things today. And if you're a partner here, thank you. You've helped us reach so many people. We have more to do, so much more to do. And if you want to become a partner and join this family, this fight, going after this culture. We call you increase partners. We call you the Red 7K. We have a number of unique things that we prophesy over you as a partner. And I'd encourage you to partner today at josephz.com. And you can text the keyword give at this number on the screen. But here's my point today. I'm, I'm very stirred by what's happening. We, we have a new building. We have so much that we're getting into. And this building, we want to retire the debt on it. I'm going to talk to you about that at the end. But I have this prophetic word I've got to get into. So please repost this. Let's begin. Because I sense so strongly what the Lord is saying. The Spirit of the Lord showed me in pieces what I see coming specifically over the next season. So here's the first thing he said. Please agree with me in faith as I release this, please, and discern it, okay? You discern it. You have the Holy Spirit. You know what he's saying. So please discern this. I encourage you to get in faith with me right now. Lock in with me because the Lord is wanting to speak something to you. Sometimes when you prophesy, there are things being said by the Holy Spirit to you that are not even being said on the program or on the broadcast live. So please hear this right now. So I'm going to begin. First of all, this morning as I was praying for you, as I do every morning for our partners and just begin to pray in the Spirit, I began to have a sense last night, this morning, about the book of Daniel, the prophet Daniel. And the Lord reminded me of the word we gave at the beginning of this year, a number of things. We've prophesied how they would try to, again, bring out another ailment, illness, they want you to cover up, get, you know, uh, the treatment. All these things is something that I saw at the beginning of the year last year that they would try to do this one more time. They would begin to shout climate. They'd begin to shout all these things and try to get people back into containment, so to speak, and not, no longer have the liberties and freedoms to do what they've been doing. So we've got a taste of freedom and they're going to try to ratchet this around again. And now everybody's talking about it, but it's because it's coming and it's coming through verified sources and whatnot. The debates last night and all the things we saw are just, um, it's a lot of it's just clutter and hearsay because I saw something today that's very vital for where we're headed. So the Lord spoke to me at the beginning of this year that 2023 would be a strange year, and it has been. It's been a strange year. There's been weird signs. They've talked about everything from UFOs to you know hurricane fires, which we've never heard of, and they're blaming it on climate and all this. And that is just the preview of a film we don't want to watch. We're seeing this year is a preview to a film we don't want to see, but it's coming now. So here's what I want to say. In this time, the Lord spoke these words to me. Just this last year, I heard the words, justice is coming. We are now on the precipice of that justice, and the justice will bring rain that falls on the just and the unjust alike. And here's what I began to hear this morning. Let me just go straight into it. This is what they heard, heard the Spirit of the Lord say to me. 
as the Lord told me 2023 would be a strange year, he is now speaking this to me. And I'm going to release this to you. The time of Daniel has come once again. Do not fear. This is not the end. It is a time of great change. A great change. And in this time, troubling sights and terrors will circle the earth. You're going to see it now. Troubling sights and terrors will now circle the earth. Smoke, wars, and quaking shall appear. Strange signs and unexplainable events will roll out one after another. Strange signs and unexplainable events will now roll out one after another. It's going to continue now and it's going to cascade like a domino effect has already begun. But hear me. Do not fear, says the Lord your God. I am the Lord your God. I am the way maker. I will take you through them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but I deliver them from them all. I deliver you and your children and your children's children from them all. But I'm telling you, there is a great shaking now upon us. They will try an aggressive repeat. A repeat, they will say. A repeat will come. They will try an aggressive repeat with many new avenues and many serious events. The aggressive repeat is coming. They're bringing a repeat, I hear the Spirit saying. This repeat is coming, but I say, I say unto you, a red stone will rise and collide with the black stone. A red stone will arise and collide with the black stone. The red stone shall collide with the black stone as many are shouting a repeat. It is what has happened in 20 all over again with more pressure and more doom and more demands. And the black stone will rise, but the red stone will rise to meet it. Then the red dragon has hidden a secret plan and weapon. Make no mistake, the red dragon does not plan on sharing power. They will not share power. Their whole strategy is to rule. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord catch me up in this moment, and He said, now I need you. Now I need you. I need you, for now the time of justice is at hand. And in the 13th month, from this very day, there shall be a change which the world has not seen. I say unto you, 13 months from this season, 13 months away, during a stretch of 13 months, a veil will be removed, many things will come through. Numbers and myriads of circumstances that will be too numerous to count or calculate will begin to come across the scene and the landscape. I say unto you, in 13 months, there shall be a change the world has not seen in modern history. In modern times. And in 13 months... This change will begin, and in 13 months, the new foundation will begin to shake and be adjusted. My mighty arm and my mighty hand shall yet affect their outcomes. My light is about to shine in their darkness. Women of fire, men of courage will stand against, hear these words, they will stand against Nero reborn. They will stand against the demon spirit of Nero, reborn. For Nero, the spirit of Nero, which desires fire, which desires destruction, which desires persecution, will be confronted by men and women of fire and courage. For Nero is being reborn. And the spirit of Nero desires to burn. The spirit of Nero desires to sing and play and demand that you listen to his song. His sound. His entertainment. His lulling to sleep. 
the narcissistic, self-absorbed, demonic spirit of Nero over these 13 months will rise into power and position. But the Lord is saying unto you, unto you, there shall be a shaking, but men and women of fire and courage will stand against him. And then in 16 months, there will be another outcome, another pivot, another clarity, another push. And in 18 months, the roar and the war. I'm trying not to go into Holy Spirit speaking and, and remain there. I have much more to say here, much more. I encourage you to repost this. Somebody needs to hear this because it's going to bring you hope and strength. I heard these words, my light will shine. My light will shine. Money, money, they will say. The money is gone. They will say the money is gone. And during this time, many will falsely declare a wealth transfer shall come. Wealth transfers shall come, but I say only to the obedient and the fearless. Only to the obedient and the fearless shall a wealth transfer be engaged. And wealth transfer shall come in the form of provision in darkness. Wealth transfer shall be a light in Goshen. Wealth transfer will not be the way it has been declared and said foolishly and incorrectly by those that prophesied from their own soul. But I say unto you, the time of gainsaying has come to its closure, but the time of truth and reality is coming, and the realm of the Spirit will invade the natural through those who are obedient and fearless for my name. And the wealth transfer will come, but it will come in the form of provision. It will come in the form of plundering. It will come in the form of those who've obeyed, position, and gone exactly where I've told them to go and be where I've told them to be. And I tell you, the window is here. You may still obey. You may still sow. You may still get in my economy. I hear this so strongly. You may still do these things, but the window is getting smaller. But I will provide. Am I not? El Shaddai, the Lord your provider, even in the storm, even in the middle of darkness. There is a wealth transfer, but make no mistake. It is not for the illustrious opulence that many say. It is for your provision as light in Goshen. It is for your provision from the fish's mouth. It is like manna from heaven. I will care for you. I will take care of you and your children. You will not go without, even as they change the dollar, even as they change the society's system, even as they bring it to a digital frontier. I tell you, hear these words. I am the Lord, your provider, and I am guiding you through this. For I say unto you, many of these things must come to pass, but I will guide you and we will change the narrative through obedience of my people. I hear this. I hear this. They will say the money is gone, but I say unto you, it is a lie. It is a fallacy and it is trickery. And in the middle of this, I will provide. I hear this so clearly. Do not believe it when the banks say no more. Do not believe it for I have another way and another means. It shall come to you. I am working on it even now, today. I hear this so strongly in my spirit. The wealth transfer is my provision in difficulty. Change your mind. Know the hour of your visitation. I will take care of you. I care for you. Man, I hear this strongly in my spirit. I'm going to continue. In this season for the hidden works of lying voices who are woven into the church, tares, wolves, these things that are woven into the popular culture of the church will be revealed. They will be revealed for the discerning eye, for those that are not wounded and have suspicion, but rather love and are full of discernment. The dis wow. The truth speakers will come and they will have love in their hearts as they reveal the truth. They will not have a spirit of condemnation or hatred. They will have a spirit of love and clarity. Even the Lord has challenged me in this time that even those I love, I must say what the Spirit says and not care what any man thinks. Because Jesus is Lord. 
And at the end of it all, those that have built their own sandcastles and are building their kingdoms, and all they care about is the business of ministry and the business of life, I say unto you, it will all be shaken, but the humble will be lifted, and the pride of man will fall. For I resist the proud, and I give more grace to the humble. And I feel such, you're going to see, hear me right now. Do not be shocked when I have certain people on this program that you do not agree with. And I'm going to ask them questions. And I'm going to say things to them that I know the Spirit of the Lord is bringing clarity to and through. Whatever side of the aisle you're on, I don't care who it is, what it is. If the Lord tells me to have them on, I'm doing it. Or if I go with them and I speak with them, I'm doing it. I sense this right now. The time is here that we've got to speak to every tribe that the Lord opens a door to to bring clarity and bring order. It's important. Do not be quick to judge. Discern. Discern. Hang in here. There's more. Oh, my goodness. For the hidden works of these lying voices who are woven, they are woven into the church and woven into popular culture will be revealed in my hidden ones who are concealed. The hidden ones who are concealed, they're concealed, will step out with truth. The truth will now have its day. Even now, I'm, I'm, pull, I, I'm seeing the, like the global mood of the culture, the global mood of military action, the global mood of all these things. Even now, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, they move upon the sea, even now. Even now, they move upon the sea. Even now, they are positioning satellites and coordinates. Even now, they plan and they laugh. Even now, they are disrupting nature itself, the very fabric of reality. Even now, they are interjecting their issues into the culture. They are scientifically meddling. They are meddling. And it is displeasing to the sight of the Lord. Even now, they plan and they laugh. Even now they say, who shall stop us? Who shall stop us? Even now the very foundation of all you know shall shake and change. It is already set in motion. Do not fear. Do not be afraid. Stand in faith. For I say unto you, I have a way for you and blessing will lead you through the darkness. Do not fear what the world fears. I say to you, shake off the grave clothes. Shake off fear. Shake off terror. Shake off any of these things because you will arise and shine. In the dark hour, you will shine. I hear an anointing for you to rise up over all that's trying to happen. More. I heard these words. The great terraforming. The great terraforming has already begun. The landscape sculpting, the change of what we know, the foundation we stand on, it's a terraform. It's a new terraform. A terraforming has begun. The terraforming has begun on every frontier, every landscape, every society, every civilization, every means and modality of government, every means and understanding of culture, every means and ability to do anything is being terraformed right now. A has begun and light and darkness are continually rising at the same time. Though you do not see it, my hidden ones are at work and my agents of change are in place. And I'm telling you, there's going to be disruptions. There's going to be shaking. There will be loss of power. There will be water change. There's going to be sea activity that you've not seen before. There's going to be wildfires again. There shall be a shaking and a quaking in the nations. There's going to be an earthquake of unprecedented proportions. There are many things that are cascading across the land and women of fire will rise and men will come forward. And I say unto you, 45's very life is in danger. 45's very life is on the line. There are many whose lives are on the line. They will try to quiet them. They will do much to stop them. And we must intercede so they remain alive. So they remain alive. And again, I say it's the time of Daniel during the great terraforming. This is the moment where change is coming. And the lion's den has been opened. 
Do not say it is a sovereign plan. Do not say it is all in control. For the Lord is saying, I need your cooperation through prayer and agreement and praying and interceding. I say unto you, pray, intercede, stand with me in faith, go to the word of God, confess the word of God, continue to pray, continue to pray, because it is not set. He is not completely out of the smoke. He is not completely protected because he needs prayer. He needs agreement. There is a collision of free moral agency from both sides. From both sides. And the Spirit is bringing clarity right now. Right now. The humble will hear it and the righteous will rejoice. The Lord is bringing clarity to many of you right now. The Lord loves you. Listen to me. On a bad day, God's anointed you to be the best there is. I've got more to say to you. I have more to tell you. I was praying this morning. I started hearing these things. And listen, you discern it. I don't feel that I have everything perfect and all this. I just believe that God is speaking. And if we have ears to hear, we can hear it. And people of God, you're called to discern it. No prophet is your end all be all. Not me, not anyone. The Bible, the written word of God. The word of God is your authority. That's what you stand on. The Bible, you read this whole New Testament, you devour it. I'm telling you, you can overcome all of this. All of it. I've got more to say here. More to say. You discern it. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, tell them, Joseph, you have the Holy Spirit in you and you have discernment in you. And when I say these things, you need to rise up in faith and lock into the word of God and let the love and grace of God come in you and stand up with power to stand against this institutional insanity that is being hijacked by the spirit of Antichrist. Let me give you more. Here's what I began to see. I heard the word, the great terraforming that has already begun. Terraform, terraforming. The humble will be lifted. I heard this so powerfully, and this is for you and your children. I heard positivity in this. I heard strength coming. The time of Daniel is here. Many people's lives in the institutional voices and those opposing the institutions that are filled with wickedness, their lives are on the line. Their families' lives are on the line. As they try to impose and release a brand new control narrative that they're already pr purposing and planning, it's the only way they know to stop what's coming in 24. The same old narrative. I heard this for you. For those, that would be you. This is good. For those who fear my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. I even see the effects of the last round of things they presented and that it got out of a, you know, a scenario and came across with ailment across the land. What they released three years ago, I'm telling you the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord is breaking a compliant, uh, spineless narrative. But he's saying he's going to heal many of you who've been impacted by the last round so you're strong for the next one. And the next one will be more aggressive. They've got to make it more aggressive. There's going to be more circumstances that make it more aggressive. But those who fear my name, the son of righteousness, will rise, will rise with healing in his wings, its wings. And you will see my goodness in your land, in your life. Fear not for the next 13 months and 14 months will shake the very fabric of all, of all you have known, of all you've known. I say unto you, the time of Daniel has come. The den has been opened. The real voices have been dropped in. But I say unto you, the sunrise is coming. The sunrise is coming. There shall be a sunrise. Be courageous, be steady, and watch. I'm going to draw something for you. Be courageous, be steady, and watch. For the Lord God is your sun, and the Lord God is your shield, and the Lord, he bestows favor and honor. Let me show this to you. I've seen this, and I'm going to elaborate here today. This is what I see for... The nations, and particularly I saw this season here. Let's call this let's 
call this began to see this and it's gone in 30 60 ultimately to a hundred fold and then I see this time of darkness a season of darkness a time where it is shadow dark now please hear me none of this needs to scare you or make fear happen because the Lord God is your son and he is your shield. And the Lord bestows favor and honor and no good thing will he, will he withhold from them who walk uprightly. This does not mean you have to be afraid. This is what's going to go on in the landscape. But I got to tell you, this is a cycle that's happened over history, but our modern history has not seen this to the level it's going yet. And people are saying, I'm telling you, it's going to be better than ever. It is not true. It is not true. But you can be better than ever. It's going to be amazing. And many of the prophetic words people are saying, some of them are misinformed. They're not on point and it's okay. God loves them. I love them. But here's what I'm saying to you. There's so much that's being said right now that they're saying, no, I tell you, it's going to be the biggest turnaround ever. There is some of that that's true in some parts, but here's what I see happening. It's as if the Titanic has been hit. And everybody's saying, just keep playing the music. Play the music. I believe we're probably somewhere about here right now in this process. I, I see this and I keep seeing the words. I, today I was seeing this words 13 months. You'll have to determine that and prophesy that and see what God's saying. See what the Lord's saying to you. I saw 13 months, 14, 18 13, 14, 16, and 18. That's what I saw. 13, 14, 16, 18. Now, does that mean we're going to end up here completely? You have to discern it. But this is what I sensed this morning. I saw this time of darkness, and this is going to be a season. And a season where the Lord God is a sun and shield, and the Lord will have to bestow his favor and honor on his people. Because the season is here. It's a time and a time and a half. And these things begin to happen. And this is a seasonal darkness. But I do see another t a change happening. And this change will happen in 30, 60, and 100 fold increments. 30, 60, and 100 fold increments. And in this, I see the words, a new America. And many people shout and they say, that's amazing. Well, listen, it's not probably totally amazing because it's going to be new. It's going to be different. Very different. I do see one more round. This one more round is somewhere in the mix here. One more round. Okay, one more round. One more round. I see this happening. I see strength coming. And during this time, there's going to be new norms, new values, a digital landscape. Um, one of the deceptions of all this is when you talk about aliens, UFOs, and people say, don't talk about that stuff. And yet it's been on the, the Capitol Hill. It's been in Congress. They're, they're revealing all this stuff. But here's the point. There's no such thing as aliens. There's only deception. And I'll tell you what it's going to be about. They're going to go for with that, the, the alien narrative, ET, phone home. You're going to begin to see that there's going to ultimately be the ultimate ultimate disclosure. And they're going to save this one for an, a need. And this will be what I'm talking about with UFOs, uh, extraterrestrial alien life, okay? Why? It'll be an ultimate disclosure that's so deceptive and so believable that people will go for it. The ultimate disclosure will be when they actually communicate, talk, and they show you one of these entities. And you say, that is nuts. 
Hang on, it'll get nuttier. I don't believe in any of it. I don't believe in any of the stuff that they're presenting, what they're bringing up, but I'm telling you, this is coming. It's coming and it's gonna be on the scene and somewhere in this mix that will happen. And it is a symphony of distraction and a lie to bring you away from the Lord God Almighty. It is a lie. I don't believe in it whatsoever. But they are so good at this manipulation that they will be able to touch these entities, talk to them. They'll be able to interview them. It is coming. It is coming. And many people that are not rooted in the Word of God, they do not have a love of the truth. They will fall for it. In the church, and say, I knew God had other kids out there. Do not be deceived, ladies and gentlemen. It's so stupid but it's gonna be very, very in our face. It's coming, it's coming. They're starting it with the UFO stuff and all this, and I'm not gonna to go too far down this road today, but I gotta tell you, this is indeed happening. And they're gonna save that one for a rainy day. They're gonna save that one for when they need it most. Now, let me continue here. This new form of monetary system will be digital. A new form of medical a new form of communication, you're going to begin to see so many of these things um, limited transportation. Um, all of this is so they can have more and more of this. And here's the great hope I have in all of it. The great hope that I have in the whole picture and the whole narrative is this. I was standing in a Mario meeting. And as I'm standing there, all the people began to cry out for the nation and the nations and saying, are we going to be under a dictatorship? Or are we going down the road? And we began to see this. And I began to hear the Lord God Almighty in my spirit. And everybody's roaring and shouting, which was so wonderful and anointed. And I heard a whisper in my spirit. And the Holy Spirit said to me this. It is not the end. Not yet. It's not the end. Now, the Lord could return at any time, at any time, but it is not the end. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have one more round, but it's not going to be as easy as some people think. It's going to be challenging. There's going to be collision after collision. There's going to be social issues we got to contend with and grapple with. But I'm telling you, it's because the spirit of Nero is coming and Daniel, the prophet, John, the prophet, who wrote the book of Revelation, I see the spirit of Daniel and John. The same spirit in Daniel and John the Revelator are going to rise during this time. And this spirit will rise and they will begin to stand and declare real truth in real time, real news, real understanding. And prophetic journalism will come like you cannot believe. It's going to be amazing, the clarity that comes. The old order is going to change. The old order is going to change and the Lord will begin to promote those that suddenly say, I clarified the best I saw and I knew, but a spirit of honesty and humility will come and those who are humble will get more information and more data. And people have asked me, who's going to win the next election? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? And I got to tell you, I've not seen it yet, but if I see it, I'll tell you. But here's what I have seen. All of this, all of this and the very life, the very life right here. I don't know why I'm seeing the word aqua, aqua issues again, aqua issues. But the very life is, is, in, is in jeopardy here. And others... in the same scope. Everybody keeps talking about, oh no, I'm telling you some of these, these leaders, these bad ones, they're gonna be dealt with. I see the spirit of Nero bringing this type of thing. It's like when Herod, I pray protection over him right now in Jesus name. Protection over him, over Tucker, over all these people. I pray protection over them in Jesus name. I say protection over Tucker. Protection in Jesus' name. But it is the spirit of Nero. The spirit.
spirit of Domitian. The spirit of these wicked leaders that want to stop what the Lord has said. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very biblical to love not your life even unto the end. And many Christians are not even aware of how to resist sin to the point of bloodshed. And we got to do that. We got to do that. I see an anointing for prophetic. Whoo! This is good. Broadcasters, not just me. I see an anointing for this, and you're going to see it. This is why we built our own app. This is why we contain our own information. Nobody can take it from us. You can get it on your phone, Joseph Z, the Joseph Z app. I encourage you, but prophetic broadcasters, prophetic broadcasts. That's why we're doing the World Broadcast Center, because I'm already, the Lord, just like last time, just like last time, just like 2019 and 2020, when the Lord said, you know, stop all you're doing and get in the studio and get ready for my people. My people need my voice right now. And we're doing that with this, this building we're getting. And I'm telling you, I, I believe that we have a light through broadcasting in Goshen. You are a light in Goshen. And this prophetic broadcasting is going to be a way to stand as a light in Goshen. There's going to be, and we prophesied this. Hey, we prophesied this. The Lord prophesied this to us. We shared it the best we knew to. Let me say this to you. Here is what I saw the last round of this stuff. I saw this clearly. And I declared it a few months ago that conservative media would overtake the vile institutional media, the legacy media, legacy, vile, goblin, lizard, overlord, uh, pervy media is getting struck down. And it was the first sign of it was last night with like in two, three hours uh, Tucker and 45, they ended up having something like 80 million, then up to 100 million views on, on X alone, on that, on the old Twitter alone, on that alone. It grew to that in about three hours. It smoked everything. It smoked the entire debate. It smoked everything out there. Again, it's because there's this new wave coming, this new wave coming, and there will be a freedom tech. I'm telling you, freedom tech will violate some of this institutional lizard nonsense, this wickedness they're trying to slime us with. There is indeed going to be, there is indeed going to be a great ability and a great way-making anointing for you and your children's children. Praise God. I want to show you something. This is where we're at. I'm going for a million for a billion to raise up clear-eyed, clear-minded reformers. One more time. I want to show you a quick walkthrough of our, of our World Broadcast Center very quickly. Very quickly right here. I want to show this to you. This is our World Broadcast Center. This is indeed where we're going to begin to set up. We're going to do things. We've got a lot to do here, a lot to take care of. We just got our foot in the door, but we've got to take care of this place and pay it off. We've got to get some stuff uh, remodeled. But look at this. This is Pikes Peak Mountain Range. Here's what's going on. Our studios will be in here. I'm building two studios right now. I'm doing this because I'm getting ready for what's coming this next year. This is the lobby. This is the entrance. And I'm so thankful to the Lord for giving this to us. This is a fellowship area that we'll be able to have our team and do whatnot, but I want to show you something. This is this uh, issue here, uh, the, the dining area. We, we have this area here. This is interesting. Let me say something to you. Many people cried out, contacted us because we have a, a fish pond <laughs> in the middle of this place, and we're discussing if we should keep it or not keep it. And we've had an overwhelming response from many of you saying, no, please keep the koi pond, keep the fish pond. So we're trying to figure out how we can build a platform over here and put a product store and all that. So be praying with us because we're working on it. We listen to you guys. Let's keep going. And if you want to sow to this, go to josephz.com. Please help us because I want to get this thing paid off. 800,000, it goes away. Give whatever you can at any amount that means something to you, please. We want to get this done. This is the top. I'll show you more. There's a little more here. You can see it. This is, again, the mountain range. Here is uh, several of our, this will be the main media space. This is going to be the auditorium where we hold meetings. We're putting chairs out. Uh, we can fit probably 200 in here should we have the zoning and availability with a, a platform and the uh, broadcast stage will have multimedia stuff. This is obviously in its raw form. We're going to begin to redo all this. This will be our, where our executive offices are up above here, our boardroom, our, our offices for our team, our executive director, um, all of it. We have so many people, our pastoral staff that we're growing into and building. Let's keep going. 
online pastoral staff. This is part of that. This is the executive area. Look at all the sheetrock and whatnot they left here. They have sheetrock they left uh, as we bought the building. And it's, we have all the raw materials to get construction going. And we're just believing people will stand with us and support us over this so we can get this whole thing going. Look at that. They left everything. Here's a bird's eye view of the main world broadcast studio. The world broadcast studio is where we'll have people meeting. We're all going to come together and we will begin to do this. You see these windows. They have uh, plastic over the windows because it's so much sun. This auditorium, uh, which is basically a gymnasium, and we know how to convert it, is 20 feet high. 20 feet. It's powerful. Let's keep going. This is what I'm talking about, a world broadcast center and availability to just broadcast. There's Jason walking. Jason's always taking care of everything. <laughs> Elijah filmed all this footage. It's so great. Just a little bit more for you. Here's a lot of the back rooms. Now, I want to show you our main studio we're going to build. We'll try to get there if we can. This here, as he's jumping through, here's our main studio. Now you come in here, you have to use your imagination, but our main studio is going to be here, and then it's after this a little bit. This is our product development area. Thankful for all of you. Check this out. Right here, all the way to that far wall, we're going to build a magnificent set and a main studio. It's hard to see it because of all the clutter and stuff that's in there. We're clearing it out right now, but let's continue. This will be our main studio environment right here. This is going to be several square feet. We've got about 10 foot ceilings or more, and we're able to put everything in there. We're going to build a beautiful backdrop. I'm going to have special guests in, and we'll be using this space the most to broadcast to you live, and then we'll be having physical meetings and so much more. People are arguing again, the koi pond, keep it. <laughs> Well, we're praying about it. So I didn't know that would be such a thing. And, and my team is like, let's keep the koi pond. So I'm trying to work it so we can work with it. So praise God, people are saying fish. Uh, it's interesting. And this is in Colorado Springs. This is where this is. And uh, as we get further down the road, I'll do a full reveal for you where you can see everything. People will be able to come visit us, whatever you want to do. But right now we're in full remod mode and we need your help. We need your help. Can we show a picture of the outside again, Elijah? Just the whole place. So this is good. You can see everything. So we need your help. This here is a gift from God. We got it for one third, one fourth possibly of what the total value is. And people said, Joseph, I thought you said paid in full. Why would you even consider financing it? Well, we have about, we have a few more weeks before the full financing, you know, is, is uh, in, in great motion and it's wonderful. But if we could get it paid off in the next three weeks, we wouldn't have to do anything. But I'm taking a step of faith because I believe even if we have to finance the remainder of this, we can pay it off quickly. But if we can get there before we have to finance the remodel and everything else and, and finishing the note off, I, I just encourage you to give today. Let's get this thing paid in full. Many people have reached out and they said, let's believe for paid in full. Well, then I'm believing with you, paid in full. Do we have a, a graph at all, Elijah, of the chart? Not right now. Okay, we'll do that. But I want to show you something that right now we could pay this off in full uh, for any gift you can do. If every partner wanted to give their very best today, whatever that would be, if it's $5, thank you. If you want to partner today, if you don't know what to give, thank you for just partnering with the ministry because we want to pay this off. I want to be ready for the coming year to be here for you, to be here for the young people, to be here politically in every area, to speak truth, bring in special guests that can say things I can't even say. And we continue to bring it out and we're going to do more and more production for you that's going to be helpful to you and i got to tell you we'll bring people in we will lay hands on you we'll pray for you we'll prophesy to you that's the idea with this is to continue building it so if you're interested in helping us any way and maybe some of you can do a dollar well you could do five dollars you could do you know, uh, $10, maybe you can do a hundred, maybe you can do a thousand. Maybe there's somebody today who can do way beyond that. Maybe you can do $50,000. Maybe somebody here and they're saying, I can do a hundred thousand dollars. I am believing God for that type of momentum because I've been sowing at that level. Here's the, uh, here's the graph. We, we got this much in, we put 450 down, uh, and it took everything we had because there was some unexpected changes in some plans we had. And so we, we, put the 450 down, uh, our team, our board approved, and they said, let's do this. And I had good counsel as we stepped into it. Then to do everything uh, on top of that will be another 800 to pay off the note and do all that. And then finally, to do everything is 1.25. 1.25 puts us completely in the clear with everything. 
But wherever you are, maybe you could give $100 today. Maybe you could give 1000 Maybe you could say, you know what, I'll take 100000 out of that. I'll cut 100000 out of that, Joseph. And you might say, my goodness, that's a huge number. Listen to me. Whatever you're able to do, we're so grateful for. If it's, if it's just a little, I'm so grateful. But if everybody can do anything, whatever you have on your heart or you look at and say, I can do something, thank you for standing with us today because I want to pay this off in full. Pay this off in full. And again, we have the paid in full campaign. I believe everybody that's here will believing for you to experience paid in full. Please agree with us for a paid in full experience for this brand new building. And we're going to show you so much. We're renovating it. I have a construction crew going in right uh, over the next few weeks, and they're going to begin remodeling and doing this. And I'm telling you, they're, they're working with us on every level. We have new concrete we have to pour. We have a number of things we're going to do for studios, but this is the main space here. And I just thank you so much. If you want to stand with us with any amount, somebody might be saying, you know what, I can do something. Uh, I, have, I have something that just happened and, and I can help you. So please, if you're interested in helping us, I guarantee you it's not the devil doing it, uh, encouraging you to help. But if you do this, you go to josephz.com, give your very best there. You can text the keyword gift to 719-259-0029. That's 719-259-0029. You can screenshot this and text the keyword give. Right there, you see, you see the word give there. And you can text the keyword give to this number, any amount, you're in control of your giving. I encourage you to partner as well. If you want to partner, we're so grateful. Partnership is what's making this happen. But if you sow, I believe we can knock this out. Maybe you have a one-time gift in you and you want to do it. And I'm just so grateful to you. Anything you can do, we'll contact you. We love you. Also, we have our uh, a mailing address. You can get that at josephz.com. You can send in something through the mail if you feel more comfortable doing that, you can contact us. You can reach out to us. All the information is at josephz.com, how to call us, how to contact us. It's all there. Everything is there to explain this. If you need it and you contact us, we will work with you. We're so grateful for you if you want to stand with us. I'm believing God that we will have this thing paid in full going into the next year. Paid in full. Complete debt liberty. Complete debt liberty. And I'm doing it for the sake of the gospel. This only benefits the body of Christ in you. So if it's in your heart, whatever you can do today, I encourage you to do it. We're standing in faith together. Today's the day for paid in full debt freedom as we go into this coming season. Because I want to I want to lay the smack on the kingdom of darkness. And I believe in God through this place, the World Broadcast Center, 14,000 square feet right here. 14,000 square feet to raise up a million for a billion. Somebody shout it out today. A million for a billion. A million clear-eyed, clear-minded reformers to raise up a billion, to bring a billion into the kingdom. A million believers to, to win a billion. A million to win a billion. Thank you, Jesus. Well, let me look right here. Father, I bless every person, every gift and giver today in Jesus' name that we can send it to the gospel that paid in full, a paid in full breakthrough is for every believer, every listener, every person tuning in right now. You can do it. We can do it. God is with us. I feel we have a window and one more round. Would you help us today? Consider helping us because I want to take this territory. Praise God. Uh, the building is in Colorado Springs, and uh, I'll be sharing much more with you as we update it because we're going to start having people come there in the next couple months, and we'll start showing it to you. Uh, probably by the first of the year is the game plan. So we go into 2024, and we'll be able to open the doors uh, for meetings and things like that. So we're working diligently. So we need your help. Can't do it without you. Uh, we move at the speed of cash here. <laughs> so that's how it is. Thank you so much. Listen, I love you. And if all you can do is pray for us, that means the world. I'm telling you, it means the world to us. Jesus is Lord. Thank you today for reposting this. Thank you for going back and listening to the prophetic word. I believe there's a lot in there. I have more to give you. I encourage you to repost this, share this everywhere you can, because Jesus is Lord. And on a bad day, you're anointed to be the very best there is. Let me tell you about this. This book is a prophecy for what's going on right now. You need this book to navigate these times. Breaking Hell's Economy, josephz.com is where you get it. I'm telling you, I wrote it under the unction of the Spirit for you. It'll give you hope, strength, and you'll smash all the darkness that's trying to limit you right now. God will provide in the middle of darkness. This is a collision of systems that this book describes, and you will come out victorious, very strong in Jesus' name. There's Servants of Fire also, how to intercede and pray and get effective results in these last days. josephz.com is where you get all that. 
Thank you for being here. Thank you for giving your very, very best. Would you consider helping us? Would you consider partnering today? Jesus is Lord. Thank you for standing with us over the brand new World Broadcast Center. We've got a lot to do, and together I think we can knock it out. I'll be updating you soon. I love you. If nobody's told you today, I love you. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I love you all so much. Please check this out. Watch this. I'll be back again very soon. I love you. Share this everywhere. Show this prophecy to somebody. Check this out. I'll see you soon. Love you all. God bless you. Well, I am so thankful you're here. You know, this ministry is expanding. We are growing and it is to the glory of the Lord. And I want to say something to every partner here, whether you are a recent partner or been with us a very long time. From the bottom of our heart, thank you. Partners, because of you, we could not do what we're doing. We're taking territory, we're building new media all the time, we're advancing, we're putting out written materials and giving away content all over the world. And we're so grateful to you for it. You send us on journeys that cost nothing to the people who are bringing us in. And I wanna say simply to you, thank you. Now, if you wanna join our partner family and you're watching, I encourage you to do so today. You go to josephz.com or you can text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029. If you join our partner family, you're gonna hear from us. We will love on you, we will pray for you, we will stand with you over all your dreams and your visions. And I'm telling you what, Heather and I, we constantly are praying for our partners. So please consider, if you're on the fence, join the partner family and let's do this thing together, both in prayer and generosity. We believe that God is going to make all your purpose destiny and dreams come to pass. We're standing with you for it. So thank you for considering partnering with us today. Again, you go to josephz.com. We have a lot of territory to take and we wanna do it together. God bless you. Remember, on a bad day, you're the best there is and you are called to be and shine the light in darkness. I'll see you again next time right here as we continue bringing a now word of the Lord. God bless you.